Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming today. I'll speak to you about how hurricanes are formed over tropical uh, ocean. As we go along the presentation, think about moist air and warm water. Hurricanes are formed many miles away from this place right here, not on the ocean, and moving to the, uh, the, uh, moving to the, uh, the Caribbean Ocean. Hurricanes are born many miles away in the Sahara Desert and over the Antarctic Ocean. They need warm energy. It grows over warm water and dies in cold water. The ocean is the warmest during the month of between June and November. That's the hurricane season. Before I go into the formation of hurricane, of a hurricane, I would like to discuss to you what a, what a hurricane is. A hurricane is a powerful swollen storm that begins over a warm sea. It resembles a funnel of swollen water. For example, if you go to your sink in your kitchen, and you look at the water swollen down the drain, take that and put it upward into the air and magnify it a thousand times, the speed and the force of the wind gives you an idea of the destructive force of a hurricane. The hurricane moves westward and when it hits land, the accumulation of the wind, the strong wind, and the rain can be very devastating, very destructive to the shore and to property on land, property on land, rather. It has a distinct circular motion, counterclockwise. It swirls around a calm central zone, which is called the eye which is 10 to 40 miles in diameter. Now I'd like to talk to you about the conditions for the formation of a hurricane. We need warm air, warm water. This movement begins to rise rapidly. The warm air and warm water begins to rise rapidly. And the temperature of 80 degrees Fahrenheit. As this warm air encompasses cool air, it causes this warm water, vapor to moisture, to condense into liquid, forming clouds and droplets, rain. Slide 6 will show you an example of this. Warm water is in the night, winds coming from both sides, from the column, the air pushes out, condenses, Rain, clouds, thunderstorms. In addition, converging winds around the equator creates hurricane. Slide six will show you an example, which is right here. Rushing. Winds around the equator create hurricanes. Near the surface water collides, rushing warm water rapid upward, increasing circulation. The Earth's rotary motion, slide 18, creates the swollen motion. As air moves from a high pressure to a low pressure, this creates an upward movement of air. Now, let's look at the four stages of a hurricane. You have tropical disturbance, an area where rain clouds are building. The second stage is tropical depression. This is a low pressure system. The third stage is the tropical storm. Winds exceed 30 miles, 38 miles per hour and has well defined shape. The destructive force of the tropical storm shows in this picture waves crashing alongside the shore. Then the fourth stage is a hurricane where winds exceed 74 miles an hour. Develop an eye at the center. This is a picture of a hurricane. You have the 
I, you have the I wall, the, you have the strongest wind, and the center is calm. It's moving in an anti-clockwise direction from west to east, Gulf of Mexico into the easterly part of America. Hurricane category is touched. There are four types of categories of hurricanes. Category 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all depends. The difference is the wind speed and the strength of the wind. In conclusion, hurricanes take the shape of thunderstorms west coast, from the west coast of Africa to America. Over warm water, it degrees Fahrenheit, and between the tropical, between the, tropic, between the equator of 5 degrees, 20 degrees north or south of the equator, where there's warm water and moist air. This starts the birth of a hurricane, a low pressure system, and thunder clouds gives you a hurricane. It passes through four stages, it spins and flies over water and reaches landfall and causes enormous damage. This is the result of a hurricane. Thank you very much.